Today we are going to discuss differences between Redux and the Context API. In an overview, they perform similar kind of task, but their use cases are completely different. So often React developers get confused between these two and ask which one they should use. Or is the Context API is going to replace Redux completely? And this is exactly what we are going to discuss today in this video. Also this is a very common question to be asked in any React and React Native interview. So it will be helpful whether you are looking for a job or you are going to start a new project soon. Hello, my name is Pradeep Devnath and I am working with React and React Native for the past 6 years now and I post tutorials for the same on this channel. So if you are new to this channel and you are learning front-end development, mobile app development then you can subscribe to this channel and if you are interested in this topic then you can like this video by doing this you can motivate me to make more such contents in future so let's get started with the topic today redux and the context api both are used for managing state and passing data to any component in an app which prevents prop drilling prop drilling is a concept in which we need to pass the data through props multiple layer down to the component tree to understand it in simple words suppose we have four components component a b c and d and we need a state value in component d which is at the bottom of the component tree but the components which are in the middle they don't need those values but as the component d is required that particular value we need to pass that value through component a to component b component b to component c and then finally from component c to component d so you can see that we are passing the prop through all the components but the value is not needed by these components the value is only required for component d this is called prop drilling so to prevent this we can use Redux and the Context API. For React Context API, as the name suggests, it is part of the React library. So you don't need to install any package to your React project to use it and it is pretty easy to set up as well. But on the other hand, Redux is a third party package which by the way works with any JavaScript frameworks such as Angular, React, Vue and for vanilla JavaScript as well. So to use Redux, we need to install it separately to our React project and then we need to set up it. And the setup is pretty complex over here. To set up it, we need to write lots of boilerplate code. So by this setup complexity, you can understand that using Redux for small and medium sized application is not viable. And Context API works well with small and medium sized applications. But for large applications such as an e-commerce app, the context api falls short over there but redux signs well in large applications because in large applications there are many states needs to be managed at once or in a single page and redux is specialized in that also with redux we get redux saga redux thunk and rdk query which makes querying fetching and caching data in an app pretty easy and for context api these concepts does not exist at all one of the major difference of context api and redux is their performance behavior with context api updating a state re-renders all the components in the component tree which leads to performance issues but with redux updating a state does not re-render entire component tree it only re-renders the component which is subscribed to the redux state because of this, one of the best use case for the context API is to use it to manage themes for an application, where switching between themes is not that frequent. But for an e-commerce application, managing card data is something which should be managed with Redux. So these are the differences between Redux and the context API. And I think after watching this video, you have got a clear idea of where they should be used and what is the differences between these two things. So if you learned anything valuable from this video, then like this video and let me know by commenting down below. And if you have any kind of suggestions for me, then also you can let me know by commenting down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. In the meantime, have a great day. Goodbye.